and welcome to Schlossky Stadion in Hortsov, Silesia for today's European qualifier matchup between Silesia and San Marino. Expected to be a historic day as Silesia only needs to win this game and maintain a better goal difference than Slovenia in the group. As things stand, for Silesia to qualify for their first ever European Championship. We'll keep an eye on the other games, but Silesia just needs to take care of business here against a San Marino team who has historically struggled in pretty much every game they've ever played. So people are expecting the Silesia win. Let's see what they can accomplish today. Bogush crosses it in to Milik, and that's the first goal for Silesia. It's 1-0. They grab the early lead. Perhaps some jitters about the performance today or have already been alleviated with that early goal. The header, beautiful back post header by Arkadiusz Milik. And Silesia is up one to nothing. In the other matchups today, Finland's playing against... Oh, Ugolini's in on a... Camille Grabara was not expecting that. He shoots it over the bar. Great chance there for San Marino. Bogush now crosses in. Milik is there again, and he scores another one. Another header, two for two. Two nothing Silesia. No chance for me to catch my breath in this one. Back and forth, both ends, surprisingly. Milik, just as he did the first time, sneaks it in the far post past Benedettini, and it's 2-0. San Marino now trying to grab their first and only point from this qualification cycle, and it's not looking too good. They're currently on a minus 58 goal difference in all of their games combined. Kufal now playing Piatek through. He's in on goal. Benedettini makes the save, though, and the score remains 2-0. Pienko, the right winger, crosses in. Header flashes just wide by Stranati. No time to check in on the other scores. Zerkowski now plays it out wide. Pienko cuts in on his left, takes a shot. Piatek was there, and it looks like Benedettini might have fouled him as he cut across trying to deflect that shot in. Checking for a penalty here, and it is awarded. It will be Kristoff Piatek who takes it. He has yet to miss a penalty for the national team. And he doesn't miss this one. Benedettini gets a hand on the ball, but Piatek grabs the goal, and it's 3-0 Celestia. Good penalty taken, low down. Benedettini guessed right, but couldn't keep it out. And Silesia are firmly in second place in the qualifiers. They just need to close this one out. Linger in the box, crosses over to Pienko. And it's over the bar. Silesia building again, looking to pour on the misery here on San Marino. Crosses in, Milik is there, his is over the bar. In other action, looks like Northern Ireland is beating Finland. Milik takes the free kick. Benedettini smartly just takes that one off the rebound. Apparently he can see into the future. Pienko taking the corner to Helic. It's off towards Milik, but he can't redirect the deflection back on towards goal. It goes wide for another corner. Pienko takes this one. Pulls to Linger and it takes a shot. Blocked. Pienko. And San Marino clears their lines. Zafroni now trying to create some space. 
plays it out wide to Fabry. And we reset here. Silesi on the attack. Linger plays it back to Zerkowski. Silesi is cycling it around. Zerkowski in the middle of the park. Loses it. And gets the ball back, though. Pienko now plays Milik into space. Milik takes a shot. That strong left foot tried to hit the left post. Shot it just wide. Pienko taking the corner and Swinger on his left. Up to Stranati, over the crossbar. It's a goal kick to San Marino. 25 minutes through here. Looks like Denmark is beating Slovenia, so they're at the top of the table. Header in from Stranati over the bar. And this puts Silesia three points clear of Slovenia. So Slovenia did win the game against Denmark, then Slovenia would have to have a better goal difference, which they currently will not have. And Silesi would finish top of the table. Milik now takes a shot, saved by Benedettini. Or Denmark can win, which they are currently doing. And that keeps Celesi in second place. Good, superbly timed tackle there, out for a corner. So really, Celesia probably only needs a draw from this game, considering the fact that Finland are losing to Northern Ireland. Either way, it's a celebration for Silesia. It looks like they're going to qualify. Linger, looking for the pass, finds Piatek, plays it out wide, Kufal crosses in. Milik takes a header, and Arkadiusz Milik caps off his performance in this first half with a hat trick. Three goals, three headers. Arkadiusz Milik, San Marino just can't handle him. It's 4-0 Silesia. Can they tack on a fifth? Helic, his header flashes well over the crossbar. And it's been a strong showing for the team looking for their first ever major cup competition. We thought Celestia could be good. We weren't sure they were going to qualify in their first ever attempt for a major competition. But it looks like that's what they're about to pull off today. And the question is, how can they perform once they get to the Euros? Because they've looked good, especially at home. Milik now through Piatek. Takes a shot. It's off the inside of the frame. I'm not sure if Benedettini got a touch. Looks like he didn't. But that was almost a fifth goal as we head into halftime. It's 4 nothing. As we get this second half underway. So the question is, can Silesia perform at the Euros? Because in the group so far, they've done really well at home, but not so great away. They've beaten every team in the group, including Denmark. But their only away win was against San Marino. Now they did go to Northern Ireland and they went to Slovenia in the last international window and that didn't go well, but they were also missing four starters. They're still missing one today. Two actually, Jakub Kaminski, the right winger and Piotr Zielinski, the center midfielder who's probably their best player. As that one's off the post by Bogush. They beat Finland at home, but they drew them away. Katie Schmilik, nice free kick there, but it's just over the bar. And they haven't really played any friendlies yet, so we haven't really seen them outside of this competition. So they could set up a couple good friendly matches 
and you know maybe they can perform we'll see what they're capable of but they've qualified so that, that that's a good start for this Celestia team well they haven't qualified yet they gotta close this one out Piatek's in a good position takes the finish it looks like he was offside though Sarkovsky tried to play him in Piatek might have gone just a hair early there and it is indeed disallowed the captain's goal there disallowed. He was a couple steps offside. Pienko taking the corner here in the 55th minute. To Helic Benedettini snags the ball and limits the damage to the scoreline here for San Marino. Linger intercepts that one, drives in, plays it across, finds Arkadiusz Milik. That's four for him. Three goals off his head, one off his left foot. Now he just needs the right footer. It's five nothing for Silesia. This one was all Linger down the right, cutting inside the box, taking a really good touch out wide. There was three Silesia players that could have tapped that one in, but it is the four-goal man, Arkadiusz Milik, who ends up on the end of it. Can he get another one? Bogush is in a strong position, takes the shot down, ends up at Milik, plays it back. Kufal, looking for the cross, finds Linger, plays bad pass back to Zergowski, and that ends the highlight. Looks like we're going to get a few changes here. Arkady Ushmilik, who's having a storming game, likely to come out. Looks like it's going to be the center backs coming out. Maybe give San Marino a chance to score a goal. And it is indeed Milik who comes out for the youngster, Bartosz Bialik, who has yet to score for Silesia. The young striker, 21 years old. So there's a good mix of age in this Celestia team. There's the best players are all about 30, 29 and 30. The two strikers, like Piatek's 28, Arkadiusz Milik is 30. There's Bialik. His shot is off the bar. You got Piotr Zielinski, who's 29 in the midfield. Zerkowski is a youngster, 24. Bogush, I think, is 22. Pienko. Linger now, and Celeste clears it out of bounds. Uh, Jakub Kaminski, the aforementioned injured winger, is only 20 years old. Bogush, his free kick hits the wall. Uh, Jakub Kivior, the left back, is pretty young. He's 22 or 23. Camille Grabar is 24. That's really good signs. Best goalkeeper on the team is young and has a bright future ahead of him. Uh, center back, there's a little bit more age, though. Got the two youngsters in now, Zeminski and Wisniewski. But Lukas Heda, who's out injured, is 33. So this will probably be his last major international tournament. There's some good up-and-coming youth, like Bogush, Kivior, Kaminski. Linger is young, too. Linger's only 23. Pienko, I think he's only 21. So this team could be pretty good for a while, but their best players. There's a good shot from Zerkowski. Saved. But the best players are all in their 30s, so we'll see if they can be kind of replaced. In the kind of two-year, three-year time frame. But... The big question is, can this team qualify for the World Cup? Pienko's in a good spot, takes a shot, and that is somehow saved as well. Because the Euro qualifiers are tough. You finish top two, you're good. And then there's the playoffs. But the World Cup qualifiers, not only do you have to finish top two, but you have to be one of the top six best second place teams. Even though they've expanded the World Cup format, it's... Still just as difficult to get in. 
as a European team. Because I'm not sure if this performance would have qualified them as one of the best second place teams if this was a World Cup qualification. So we'll see when we come to that. But right now we have a, a big competition to look forward to. Here's Pienko on the header. Benedettini makes another save. Northern Ireland beating Finland 3-0 now. Let's see if San Marino can grab a goal here. Oh, a good chance there, but the defensive header was there from Jakob Kivior. Maza plays Chenchi in the box. Good tackle by Kufal, though. And Silesia played up the field. Doesn't look like San Marino's going to get a goal today. They had a good early chance that went over the crossbar. Bogush drives in. Bogush! And Mateus Bogush caps it off for six for Silesia. As the celebration continues here. Drives inside. Looks like the defender got a bit of a touch there, but it is a goal for Bogush. And it looks like Denmark is not winning their game anymore because Silesia has gone to the top of the table. They're playing Slovenia. I think that one might be one to one currently. Let's see if we can get a flash of the score here. And it is Sporar who scores. Piatek into the side netting. Is Silesia going to win the group? No, Denmark looks like they scored two goals in stoppage time. They're winning 3-1. to one. So Silesia will finish second place. They have qualified for the Euros. It's a fantastic day for the Silesian FA. It's a fantastic day for Silesia. They dominate San Marino. 6 nothing. four goals from Arkadiusz Milik. It's time to celebrate. Silesia has made it. Congratulations.